So six months ago, I did a video on Ares Rise of Guardians. This is a brand new sci-fi action MMO from Kakao Games, the people that used to publish Black Desert, people that published Elyon, which is now shut down, the people that are now publishing Arcage. And if that information alone doesn't get you excited to see what they have to offer us today, then know that they are also investing a lot of money into the very lucrative mobile genre. Now we actually have four different videos to look at today. We have their full two minute CG trailer, and then we have approximately 45, 50 seconds worth of in-game footage. Now all of these videos were uploaded to the MMO Culture YouTube channel. I know they were also uploaded to Kakao's official Korean YouTube channel, but we're watching them from MMO Culture because, well, honestly, I couldn't find the gameplay trailers anywhere else. Before we go any further, I just want to take a moment here to thank all of the absolute chads and chadettes that support this channel via Patreon. You're all freaking legends. Seriously, each and every single one of you. I would offer to give each of you a kiss, but I suffer from severe intimacy issues. Additionally, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest MMO gotcha and gaming news, take a second here to follow Mrs. Dix and I over on Twitter. We tweet daily. Very little is known about this game other than it is still slated to release this year in 2022, somehow. Now, I'm all for CG trailers, right? Like, I think CG trailers look great, but at the same time, they're not showing us anything about the game. Because this could be a this could be a sprite-based game, right? This could look like, I don't know, Lost Ark. This could look like New World. I'm not gonna lie, this is this is actually a kind of a cool trip. I don't know, does that look like something out of Warframe or Destiny to you? probably a hot girl, right? This is Korea we're talking about. Yeah, you can see she's she's literally got nothing covering her chin. That's a hot girl. Cuz Korea, right? Coming soon. Interestingly, they did note coming soon as opposed to 2022, which is when they were expecting the game to release and that's what they told us when they told us it was going to release when they announced it approximately six months ago now we have three world tri so apparently they're going to okay so these these have no sound apparently unfortunately but you know they're just just kind of showcasing the worlds but apparently there are in fact a multitude of different worlds that you're going to be capable of exploring You know, it, it it's a it's a world. Maybe this one will look a little bit more uh, unique. I know I'm getting kind of like first person or third person shooter vibes from looking at these trailers. Uh, like I feel like this is this is something like Warframe, but you know they're claiming this is an MMORPG. So who am I to say that it's not gonna be one? Honestly, I, I really don't know what what these are supposed to really be advertising. Uh, 
other than the fact that they're incapable of recording in 1080p. <laughs> now, the worlds, they look pretty good. The, the, the CG trailer, it looks pretty good. But this game was announced at the beginning of 2022. It was confirmed to be releasing in 2022. And you know how much information we have pertaining to the game? Nothing. This is a sci-fi game. This is an MMO. And that's it. We don't know what kind of combat it has. We don't know if it's open world. We don't know if it's a sandbox MMO. We don't know if they've shifted from whatever kind of MMO they were creating to more of a survival game, to a battle royale, to a first or third person shooter. Heck, we don't even know what perspective the game takes. We don't know if it's a first person, third person, or over the shoulder, literally, we know nothing about this game, yet it is still slated to release this year in 2022, somehow. Now, admittedly, Kakao, you know, they do not have the greatest track record when it comes to video games, but at the same time, I'm not going to write this off immediately as some kind of Korean trash, because at the end of the day, a lot of people thought the same thing with Black Desert Online, and Black Desert Online definitely found its audience. Now, while waiting for Ares Rise of Guardians to launch sometime later this year, hopefully, I have two different videos on screen right now. One concerning the remaining MMOs slated to release this year as well, and another featuring the most played MMOs currently in 2022. These are the MMOs that everyone else is actively playing.